Ah, this is a collaboration with the Chan 7. Talking now, it's now here. <laughs> and the topic is homeschool regrets. I make it as a rule not to regret anything because everything you do leads you to where you are. So take the word regret with a pinch of salt. These are probably just things that I should have done differently. Um, but case for us, raw and all that. Um, if you're new here, my name's Victoria. I'm a home educator, number five in the UK. Um, so please subscribe. I do I do homeschool uh, hauls and the odd random thing gardening. The gardening club starts again in March. My uh, homeschool vlogs, family vlogs. There's a homeschool book serial and now free belly dancing classes are on my Patreon, which I'll link below. I'll link the Chan 7's channel below and the playlist below as well. I better do the chickens and I'll do the rest of this video not in the middle of this snowstorm. <laughs> oh, we've recorded? Let's record it. <laughs> my first one is, when I first started home educating and I was very sort of insecure about if I was doing the right thing or not. A couple of times, my mum come round, and she, you know, she, she, she didn't ask for this. She wasn't asking me to prove myself, but for some reason I felt like I had to. And twice I was like, Pudge, read this book to Mama. And, um, he, well, we've since found out he's dyslexic, but he was young as well. And, um, you know, the pressure of having to read in front of somebody else, it just didn't work and he didn't read. And I'd, I'd be, like, frustrated in my head thinking, how can we read that for me perfectly and ask you to read for somebody else and you can't read it? I never said that to him, but in my head I was like, maybe I'm failing him. Um, and once I told her we were doing this topic about castles, which we were, but then when she came and she mentioned it to him, they uh, they weren't remotely interested and she was like are you sure they're interested in castles and I took that personally um like I'd failed to prove myself again and you don't need that you don't need to prove yourself to anybody I don't do that now the kids aren't there to perform to other people to validate your choice you know I didn't didn't do it again after that you don't have to prove yourself to anybody and you certainly don't have to ask your kids to um, be like, prove, prove this, prove that, prove that for the people. So I shouldn't, you know, but I was learning. Another one is, I was, like I said, I was very insecure when I first started home educating. And I used to try and make it, and I've mentioned this before, but I used to try and make it more palatable for the people. I used to look insecure, so then they'd start telling me why I was wrong, why I was wrong to home educate, and I'd say things like, "Oh, we're only doing it till it's seven, see how it works out." Oh well, you know, if we get a place in the school in the next village, we'll reconsider. And da da da. Now I'm much more confident. I have don't tell people because it's none of the business, or I just say, "Yeah, we're home educating," and that's the end of the conversation. I should have been more confident from the start. And I shouldn't. I should have realised I don't have to make excuses or make it more palatable for people or whatever. But again, I was just starting out, and that's what you do when you're just starting out. Another one is um, my most successful video on here is taught. It's called "The Truth About the Homeschool Community," and it's about this. And the first set of home ed families I met, there was to cut a long story short. There was this woman who I used to describe on my blog, on my Facebook page, I used to describe her as my favourite homeschool mum because she was. And um, she proved to be incredibly toxic and um, like sort of excluded members of the group one by one. And when it was my turn, I was really upset because I thought we was friends. And since then, I found out that she was nasty about Bod. Bod's now seven, but at the time, he would have been one and a half, too. So we're talking about a baby she was being nasty about. And, um, you know, we've also since found out he couldn't actually hardly see. You know, so some of his behaviours was because he was practically... He couldn't see. But I shouldn't need that excuse. The fact of the matter was that he was an extremely young child and she was being nasty about him to people and she's still being nasty about my kids now. 
but the, the point I'm trying to say is because of that experience I've become quite jaded and didn't want to meet new homemade people there was only like two two other new people I met um, one because she'd found me off my blog and another one because I kind of knew her anyway before she started home educating and it's only been recently in the last month or two that we started a home ed group where anybody can come and I have been meeting new people and they've been nice so I sort of wasted a bit of time there not wanting to meet new people because of this one bad experience and also you know you don't have to be overly involved. You don't have to be best friends with these people. You can just meet up, have a nice time and go again. So I feel like I wasted a bit of time there meeting new people. That's about it, my love. Sorry I look dead rough. I've just woke up. I've been trying to film this video for, <laughs> for about a week. And it, it's just not been happening. <laughs> So I was like, right, I'll do it as soon as I get up before the kids get wake up, even though I'm going to look rough as hell. My husband's a lucky man. <laughs> um, please subscribe. And I'll check out the playlist below.